Hello everyone, my name is Valerie and as you might know, I'm a real Prague guide. And in this video, I'm gonna share 10 things you should know before joining a free tour in Prague or just anywhere else in the world because the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video will apply to any place where they run free tours. First of all, what is a free tour? Free tour is a very popular concept around the world where you don't pay any admission fees to join the tour, but at the end of the tour, you are free to decide how much you wanna tip the guide based on the quality of their work. So it is not a charity. The guides don't have any extra salaries and the city or the country is not paying them anything for doing these tours. There are many different free tour companies all over the world. Sometimes people come to Prague and they think that there's just one free tour, one umbrella they need to find, and then they get confused and they join a different tour and their guide is waiting for them somewhere else. So when you are booking the tour, you need to remember that you can either book it through the website of a specific free tour company or you can book it through the reseller. Also, if you want to help the company that you want to take the tour with, it is obviously better to sign up through their website directly. We do have our own free tour called 100 Spire City Tours. So let's talk about who the tour is actually aimed at. Free tours are aimed at travelers who want to join a group of other travelers, usually 30 to 40 people. In our case, we try to keep it 30 max per guide, but other companies have different limits. Free tour usually lasts two to three hours and it's meant to be kind of lighthearted and fun. Obviously with topics like Second World War and communism, the tour can't be that much fun, but the guide tries to convey the serious and tragic information in a way that everybody will understand it and take something away from the tour. All right, so now let's get to the actual tour. What is there to know? It might sound very obvious, but it is a walking tour, not a sitting tour. We do cover certain pretty short distances, usually three to four kilometers per tour or even less than that. But some travelers don't keep that in mind and they, let's say, wear uncomfortable shoes or bring kids who obviously will get tired quicker. Or maybe they bring other members of their families who are not prepared for this kind of physical activity. So I feel like this is important to keep in mind. When you sign up for the free walking tour, expect yourself to walk for the next couple of hours. Yes, we do stop at every site and we look at it and there is usually a break somewhere in the middle of the tour, but even that physical activity can be challenging for some travelers. Another thing to keep in mind when you sign up for the free tour is the fact that you have to be on time. Usually the free tour asks you to arrive to the meeting point 15 to 10 minutes before the starting time. And that's because the guide actually won't be able to help you if you come late or if you get lost on the way because they cannot abandon the group of other travelers who already made it to the meeting point to help you. So that's why it is important for you to follow the directions and come to the meeting point on time. It can happen that when you come late to the free tour, your spot will be already given to some other traveler who was there earlier, despite the fact that you had a reservation. Free tours do that because as there is no prepayment, there is no guarantee that the customer will in fact show up. So the guide has to take walk-ins if he sees that some people from his list are missing. So don't get upset at the guide if you show up late and your spot was already taken because they probably didn't know that you were coming late. So it is always better to be on time or even a little bit earlier. A free walking tour isn't a private tour. Well, obviously, Valerie, but what do I mean by that? You will have a pretty sizable crowd joining a free tour, so the guide won't be able to direct all of their attention at you. And you have to be proactive if you have questions, raise your hand or talk to the guide when you're moving from one stop to another or after the tour. But you can't expect any extra services. Pick up or drop off at the hotel, isn't possible usually with a free tour. The guide will not be able to send you an itinerary of everything you saw or talked about on the tour because again, they're not paid to do that. My next point is about something that happens rarely, but I feel like I have to mention it because we did encounter these problems with the customers couple times before. As the tour is taking place outside, we have to respect some rules of moral conduct. We cannot drink alcohol 
or smoke anything <laughs> during the tour. I know, I know in Prague you see people drinking beer on the street all the time, but it's actually illegal. Prague is a party city. We do have uh, stack parties and hand parties during our tour, and some of them are a little disappointed that they cannot just let loose and get wasted on their three-hour walk. Point number eight is about a question that we get asked a lot. How much should you tip your guide? And that we cannot tell you because that would be actually against the rules. When you join the free tour, you agree to only decide at the end of the tour when you can evaluate the guide's performance. That is why I think it is not fair that some travel bloggers suggest how much you should tip the guide before you even attend a free tour. Point number nine. Maybe you have joined other old school prepaid tours in the past and you notice that sometimes the guide is kind of just saying it like a script or is very monotonous or it's not very funny or interactive and that's understandable. When I started working as a guide in a company that I cannot mention here because they will literally sue me, I was very very excited to do the paid tours up until I received my first paycheck. <laughs> what the hell is even that? Hey, that's pretty good. This, this, this is not okay. But that will never happen with the free tour because the guide is more motivated. Because when they come to the meeting point, they're not at the zero, they're actually in minus. Emotional, damn it! To get every customer to the meeting point is two to three euro per person. So when you have a group of 30 people that arrive for the guide, he looks at them and knows that he is 60 euros down. So he has to actually earn that money now. And he has to try hard and be funny and be friendly. And that is obviously good for the customers because then they get a different kind of experience than the tours when the guide is uh, talking to your headset, turn left, turn right, and actually no shade to these guys because I love this kind of job. So that's why we encourage you guys, if you do join a free tour in Prague or anywhere else in the world, please keep that in mind, that the guide is always in the minus for their company that they work for. And I've saved kind of the bad news for last because unfortunately large groups can't join free tours. By that I mean that if you are a big family or a group of friends or colleagues, it can happen that you will be too many to join a free free tour. That might vary from city to city and country to country, but for example in Prague if you are more than eight people in most cases you can't join a free tour or you can but you have to prepay for every participant but for some really large groups let's say an orchestra is traveling to Prague that happened and that's a lot of people they won't be able to join the free tour at all so for them only private tours are available you might be wondering where we are now and we are actually next to the powder gate and coincidentally this is where we 100 spire city tours start our tours every day at 10 a.m and 3 p.m so we can go and say hi to our guides. Our wonderful guides are already starting their tour now and if you want to be part of the group we will leave the link to our tours in the description box so you can sign up when you're coming to Prague. Thank you by the way to everyone who already joined us because of our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!